A number of influential individuals, including former President Donald Trump, his son Eric Trump, New York State Attorney General Letitia James and Judge Barbara Jones, who was assigned as a monitor by the court, were involved in the discussions, as reported by Counterpunch, on Fray February 20. 3 R 2024, they intended to obtain an appeal bond that was about half a billion, in order to cover the penalty that the court had imposed for fraud additionally Joey Profassi Jar, who works for Bot Bean Bonds and IS. Located in Elizabeth, New Jersey, actively participated in the negotiations a window into the high-stakes drama that is taking place behind closed doors is provided by the transcript, which was obtained by Stephen F. Eisenman, a columnist for Counterpunch from a source who wished to remain anonymous. During the beginning of the conversation, Donald Trump is seen questioning his son Eric on their progress. Approximately $400 million has been secured but they are still missing approximately $74 million. According to Eric Trump, who adds that they are getting close while Eric Trump is being challenged by Donald Trump about his efforts to locate additional funding Donald Trump, appears unimpressed Donald Trump's dissatisfaction is heightened by the fact that Eric Trump's efforts, which include looking behind sofa, ions, and even collecting contributions from members of the family, provide only a limited amount of results while the tension is rising, Letitia James steps in and warns former president. Donald Trump against. Any additional delays, she also emphasizes how important it is to obtain the bond as quickly as possible in order to fulfill responsibilities to the citizens of New York. She insists that Donald Trump sell assets in order to achieve the required amount, and she also wants that that action be taken. Judge Jones interjects discrediting the exaggerated assessments of important assets, such as the Manhattan Penthouse or Mara Lego, and underlining the legal limits that lower the price of these properties. This is in spite of the fact that ex-President Donald Trump has suggested selling these significant properties.